I think zone is uh, it's made for the dark dance floor, I think. I don't think it's a happy track or anything. It's uh, well, but it's not a sad track either. I, I think it's it's, um, it's like an energetic track, which um, I, uh, I'm looking forward to drop in one of my gigs. I think Zone is definitely the perfect transitional track for a DJ. Uh, you know, when you want to move away from those dark underground greedy beats towards maybe more melodic and atmospheric stuff, I definitely think uh, Zone has its uh, place there. I really like the track. It's simple and the way we made it with Kais is uh, it was a very intuitive, short writing session and uh, we just kind of jammed the track out in first go. I do remember that it was a, it was a one day session more or less and we just had fun playing. It was a really fun, fun time I think, so I think that's the essence of a collaboration to me, just having fun in the studio and not thinking too much what needs to come out, you know. Zone is uh, <laughs> truly a zone of uh, a moment in a music producer's uh, life. It was very important for me to get my hands on to the actual uh, song and the track. I take tremendous amounts of pride in doing what I do as a creative person, you know, as a musician, uh, but I also respect the craft itself so much that I couldn't just I couldn't just sit in a corner somewhere fiddling my phone and pretending I was doing something when in reality I wasn't, you know. I think everyone who knows me knows that uh, I have nothing nice to say about ghost produced artists or people who pretend that they're creating art. I just made this kind of descending melody, this like dun 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 and then I made uh, this, this main lead, this kind of uh, uh, spacey sounding, techno sounding synth that's playing throughout the whole track. I think the track brings out the best in both of us. We're both playing my little white key step uh, keyboard there. Kais was playing the melody and I was like tweaking the pitch modulation and the filter. And uh, it was a really fun, fun time, I think. Yeah, I just sent my latest batch of tracks to Mike as usual and uh, he really liked Zone. And he got excited about it so much that he wanted to remix it himself. Uh, so that's really how it happened. Mike's remix of the track is an absolute banger. It's like this train that keeps on going and going and going and hits you right where it should. Uh, the only thing missing is a dark, intimate club, maybe a smoke machine and a few strobe lights. It's a pretty crazy remix. It's like a real bomb for the clubs, you know. I think so. I mean, if it's up to me, hell yeah. <laughs> uh, I think our styles uh, uh, fit together quite nicely. Uh, even though our, st our workflows are very different in the studio, I, I think we're uh, very much on the same wavelength when it comes to creating, so definitely, uh, I hope so. If the zone is right <laughs> in the studio, I think we're, it's fair to say that we're both pretty excited about this release. To get a, like a, you know, portion of this like Finnish sound we're doing to get it out there like you know we're uniting our forces hey what's up it's Kais I am Movement Machina Zone with Movement Machina me and Kais's track Zone is out now on Yomo Records package includes an awesome remix from Mike Cogling so go check it out hope to see you soon somewhere around the world <laughs>